Do you know what you want? Mm. Ooh, I think I want a blended mocha large. Okay, but I'm paying an extra dollar for you to be more hyper. <laughs> Cheap game. <laughs> Medium coffee, just plain old coffee. I know that guy. Excuse me, are you Paul Sager? Uh, yes, I am. Yeah. Have we met before somewhere? My name's Kenny, and this is my wife, Susanna. And you did a missions conference at our church. Do you care to join us? Well, yeah, I'd love to. Well, thanks so much. Absolutely. So, what do you do at BMW? Well, I'm the director of the organization, so that means I have the responsibility of casting the vision and making sure we stay aligned with it. In addition to that, I obviously do fundraising for the organization. In fact, right now I'm working on a program called the BMW League. Hmm, league. Whenever I hear that word, I think football, soccer, baseball. A league is simply a group of people that are united about a cause. In our case, it happens to be worldwide missions. So a person who's part of this league, are they a leaguer? <laughs> no, we actually call them impact partners. Basically, people that are interested in the ministry of BMW and are willing to give $10 a month hmm. and will pray for us as well. Are there already a lot of people serving as impact partners? Well, right now we have about 100 impact partners, but we're actually looking to increase that to 6,000. Wow, 6,000? So that's... So that's $720,000 per year. Yeah, that's right. That's what, it, <laughs> that's what it costs to maintain the organization. So basically the league is designed to keep the home office rolling. Sure. I guess I can see the need for the home office but giving to support the home office just doesn't sound that exciting. I mean, why give money for a new stapler when you could be helping a guy who's starting a church in the remote jungles of Timbuktu? When you give to the league, you're contributing to over 400 missionaries that are working around the world. It's sort of like a mutual fund where you're investing in a lot of different funds rather than simply one. We certainly don't want to discourage anybody from supporting that missionary on the front lines, but there obviously is the need to help get them there, and that's sure. what the Home Office does. Let me show you a couple of uh, interviews here that show what missionaries think about our services. If we didn't have the Home Office to help us with all of these aspects of ministry, life could get quickly out of control. It would take a lot of time away from ministering uh, the gospel to people. They really prepared us so when we went out, whether it was on deputation or actually on the field, you still felt more confident. All the support that we receive from individuals or churches is sent to the mission. And the mission processes, receives those funds, is able to mark them as tax deductible gifts. And those funds then are sent to us. I'm very thankful for the, the work that the Home Office does with our financial side of things, helping us with especially the taxes. We really appreciate area directors coming to visit the field once a year. They take the time to do an annual evaluation, which is very good to keep us accountable to our supporters. And the area directors are there for uh, encouragement to pray with us. Here at the mission headquarters, there's some housing provided for us where we can often have our own space, our own time. Um, and that's a great restorative time. And if we need something from the states. They'll actually let us ship things here and they'll ship it to us, which is a huge help because like school books and things I have the hardest time with and they just took over with that. You can tell immediately that they will love and care for our family uh, the same that they would their own families. It's really a good investment to have um, someone back here who knows what they're doing and does it well. I was introduced to BMW by our local pastor several years ago. I got to know the director, the financial person, and others in the office, and I realized that they were actually servants to the servants in the field, the missionaries. So I, I just wanted to help. I do count it a privilege to be able to contribute toward the support of the home office, but I know that that also contributes to the ministry of the missionaries on the field, and that's why I think it is of great eternal value. Many mission boards will charge 15, 18, 20 percent or even higher uh, as they charge missionaries out of their support base. Uh, BMW is committed not to not doing that. Instead of going to one missionary, your gift is a general 
alleviation of all of the missionaries of this administrative service. We would encourage a person to not just consider finances as the ultimate end, but as a means by which the relationship can be established even more deeply with BMW and its missionary family, and that the prayers would follow. So what do you guys think? This all sounds like a really worthy cause, but we'll have to pray about whether we can afford the funds. These are tough times, you know? Sure, no problem, I understand. It was a pleasure meeting you, Paul. Yeah, it was good being with you guys. Thanks so much for your time. Thanks. Oh, by the way, you've, you forgot your receipt here. Oh, thanks. Wow, 10 bucks for coffee. It's not too bad.